Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to do an unboxing of an old prayer release, and that is Roping Horse and Calf. I bought this for the calf um, because I need prop animals, and uh, my sculpting is not very good. Um, and this was the only way that I could find it. So let's take a look. Actually, I don't collect boxes, so I'll be throwing the box away. I'm not one of those, you know, fanatics about the value of my creatures. Oh, so that was the year 2000 is when these guys came out. That's an old, that's old. I'll give it that, 20 years old. Looks pretty good for 20 years old. I believe it stayed in a box for 20 years and really didn't go up in price that much. Now, I did have these many years ago when I had a massive model horse collection. And then finances got bad and, you know, when you got to pay the bills, you got to sacrifice something. So I sacrificed uh, quite a few of my... Uh, Probably 95% of my collection, at least my traditional collection. I managed to keep, uh, I managed to keep my stable mates. So I had this guy at one time, and then he had to go, which is sad. So sad. But I'm glad to be back in the hobby. So, you know, never too late. Things turn around, and then. And get back to the things that you love. All right, there's the calf. All right, it's a problem here. Jeez. Did you see how much fun that is? Right, out of the box. Now this was supposed to be traditional scale. Um, they're more of a in-between, um, in-between a classic and a traditional. They're, they're smaller than even the, the traditional uh, size ponies. Um, and, um, I mean, if I put the Welsh jumping pony, which I, I have put that next to it, you'll see this is much smaller than that. So, but it's still bigger than a classic. So it's bigger than a one twelfth scale and smaller than a one nine. So, um, a lot of box rubs, box rub, box rub. That's what happens 20 years in the box being shuffled and shipped around. And, um, then you get that. And then here's a, a rub from the calf, the calf rubbed. The horse in the box and it just it's just the way it was packaged um, I think Reeves was trying to figure out the way to do it um, there's box dust which is not a bad thing um, but otherwise he looks pretty good um, I don't know if I'm ever ever make him a saddle or if I'll just go ahead oh, look, there's another one and sell him as a body box um, I'm gonna have to start selling models again because I don't have room in this house for a huge collection as far as the calf is the reason why um, I went and bought this um, he's uh, obviously can be used in a lot of Western performance um, and I'm really excited about trying to get some Western performance uh, dioramas going and so it's just easier to buy the plastic brayer than to try and make my own I have sculpted um, and um, if anything I could use this as a model to be able to sculpt another one but uh, mostly I just it's a time saver um, and this wasn't that expensive a set so yeah I love this little calf and he adorable absolutely adorable oh he's got a little rub there well good thing he's a performance model and not a halter horse huh so I might be able to touch that up a little bit it's not that bad 
Well, thank you for spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and you have yourself a great day.